Good morning, third graders. As always, I'm really excited to be here with you today. Day three of distance learning. I hope that everybody's kind of getting into the groove of things and making sure that they're checking in on all their Google Classrooms. So just a few housekeeping things before I go on to our historical figure of the day. Um, make sure, please make sure that you are signing into our homeroom Google Classroom attendance so that we know that you're here, okay? If you want your Halverson hard cash, then you are going to sign in every day, okay? Um, please check in with your reading teachers and do your reading work that's assigned every day. If you haven't turned in an assignment every day since Monday, you probably need to go and check in with your reading Google Classroom. And same thing for math. Make sure that you're checking in with your math teacher. If you haven't done an assignment every day for math, that means that you're probably missing something, okay? Not necessarily, but depending on whose math class you're in, um, you are gonna wanna check in with your teachers. Okay, so I know that it's April 1st, so happy April, everyone. Um, and Women's History Month is over because Women's History Month is in March. Um, so I was thinking, who, what people in history are underrepresented and we might not learn much about them in history. Um, and I was thinking about indigenous people and the Native Americans that we kind of glossed over in our history lessons and we learned that um, the English came over and they colonized the East Coast, but there were people already living there, right? And so a lot, it's really important that we remember indigenous people and Native Americans as they pertain to the history of our country. So I'm gonna to talk to you today about an indigenous woman. Her name is Elizabeth Wanamaker Petrovich. Here she is, that's what she looks like. And she was important because she successfully ushered the United States' first anti-discrimination act through the Alaska State Legislature in 1945, which guaranteed full and equal enjoyment of public service and banned racist discriminatory signage. So signs saying things like, we only serve this kind of person and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Petrovich also urged Native people to run for office. In 2020, <clears throat> so this year, she'll appear on the $1 coin in commemoration of her work. So that is Elizabeth Wanamaker Petrovich. She looks like that. I will put the link to um, her bio on this video. And there's also um, biographies of 14 other powerful Native leaders to celebrate. It says on Indigenous People Day, but I think that we can celebrate them every day. All right, so have an awesome day. Have fun um, distance learning and be nice to your parents and your siblings. Have a great day.